this video, we're going to continue looking at sequencing on the Novation SL Mark III. So I already pressed shift and pattern, and we can see all the synths lined up next to each other. I have Roland Boutique, JUO6, JPO8, and JXO3. So I have two different patterns here I can switch to, and it can switch right in sync with a beat. What I'm going to do is just experiment with it. All the sounds are going through the hologram microcosm. So you'll hear a little bit of extra sounds and effects in the background. So let's just start the sequencer here so we can hear the patterns. simple basic patterns. So I'm just going to go in to steps. Let's go in to patterns. Let's change the start and the end. Almost maybe randomly. Now we can hear the timing's off now. Let's turn down the cutoff on the bass. Back to the JP08, we're going to shift up, make it higher notes, play with the cutoff. We're going to go back in the pattern and the options and shift it. You've got tons of different patterns that emerge from just using pattern shift. We can change the length again. Let's turn up the cutoff. Let's make them octave higher. Let's do the pattern shift, bring in some extra notes. Turn down the cutoff on this synth. Change the timing on this. Shift the pattern around. Let's go back to shift pattern. So it sounds wildly different from the original. Let's play around with this one. I'm going to go into the bass. Let's go into the options here. Let's change the length. Pattern shift. Now that's not really going to do anything but play the same note out of pattern here. with this one, going into pattern options again, and changing the length. Let's go to this one, shifting the pattern, let's play around with the cutoff a little. So I just went in a clear pattern here. Let's say we want to enter in some bass notes. Here's one quick way to do that. So let's say I want this note, we'll put it in the first step. But the whole pattern, I want it to just play it, rest, play, rest. So all you have to do is go to Options, Patterns, and we're gonna bring this right here. So let's play and we'll see what it sounds like. Okay, so that works. So you could either do it that way, or you could have a full pattern 
and just enter in the note every other step. But I think it's probably easier just to change the length. Let's duplicate that pattern right over here. We're going to go back in. So there's the note. I want to make a different note. So I press the new note, turns red. I'm going to press the old one and it goes away. So let's press play. Okay, so now I can always start here. And then press the next one. And it goes right to it. So let's do the same thing. Duplicate this over here. We're going to go on the step. Let's make it this note. Let's go back to patterns. Let's listen, see what it sounds like. So you can kind of think of ideas when you're building something like this. You can turn on some drums in the background. Now I'm gonna go into this synth and maybe make some notes in here that might sound good. Change the length. Change and cut off. Go back to patterns. Let's go up. Let's change this. back down here and make those notes higher. Shift, arrow up. Go back to patterns. Now what I could do is start recording all of this into my deluge and kind of like improvise changes and then record that into an entire song just perform the whole thing out let's go back in here and turn that an octave up more there we go let's add some JXO3 Change the length and pattern shift. Back in the shift patterns. And maneuver using up and down arrows. I could program other parts in here too. Go back into here, change that bass note. Resonance. 
turn off the cutoff on JP. Let's turn off some reverb here on the RMX.
Thank you.